On any given day, this is what you'll find on the streets of San Francisco. Thousands of cyclists all competing for space and taking chances. It's rough, tough, and can be downright dangerous. Bikes versus cars, bikes always lose. That's what the I-Team found when we poured through thousands of records from the California Highway Patrol. 11,000 bike accidents and counting at intersections across the Bay Area since 2007. We mapped them out, and the worst of it is happening in San Francisco. The top five places to get hit on a bike, here they are. Number five, Polk and Geary Streets. Number four, Market and Valencia Street. Three, Market and Fifth near Union Square. Two, Masonic Avenue and Fell Street. And the number one most dangerous intersection in the entire Bay Area, Market Street at Octavia. This is no surprise at the San Francisco Bike Coalition. These intersections have been in their crosshairs for years. We're really encouraging the city to focus on those trouble areas. Market and Octavia is still an intersection where you really need to be careful. Look at this video from the Bike Coalition showing the notoriously tempting illegal right turn from northbound Market through the bike lane and onto the freeway. And the driver even comes back to check the sign. Yes, it was illegal. Fortunately, the cyclist wasn't injured. Safety has grown. Now it's not been enough. What we did to address that situation is to put in this island to make that illegal right turn more difficult. And you can see some of the signage that we've put in since then, uh, the no right turn sign. But our analysis shows at Market and Octavia, the accident numbers are still going up. We're also working with the police department to enforce the rules for people who ride bikes because there are cases where people who ride bikes are not being safe. That's another thing we researched. Just who is at fault? In the Bay Area, it's about 50-50, but cyclists are getting hurt in nine out of 10 accidents, and here are some of the reasons. Time after time after time, we saw bikes running stop signs and lights, cruising along sometimes against traffic, no helmets, weaving in and out of cars. This store owner didn't want her face shown, but she wanted to talk. The bikes tend to go through all the red lights and they start banging on the cars, and it's crazy. And tempers are flaring. We watch this passenger and rider argue. He says they cut him off. She throws her cigarette at him. We see him take out his bike lock, and then, further down the road, he smashes her side mirror. Eric Otto ran a sign right in front of us on Harrison Street. No matter what, people are going to hate you. Um, so I ride aggressive. I take, I guess, the risk in my own hands. Not all people have been so lucky. Last July, a 20-year-old woman was killed, making an illegal turn onto Fremont Street in front of an oncoming truck. And that same month, a woman walking in a crosswalk at Mission and Embarcadero was struck by a man running the light on his bike, and she died. He was charged just last week with vehicular manslaughter. We're losing life, we're getting people injured that is completely unnecessary. My office will do whatever we can to educate the public to try to prevent these events from occurring in the, same, in the first place, but certainly we're ready to prosecute when it's appropriate. When we went back to that intersection, we saw a woman running that same light. I think our message is to everyone behave responsibly on the road. Stop at that red light, stop at that stop sign. Of course, give the pedestrian the right of way.